Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to understand the transaction part. So how to work with the transaction and how transaction are useful. Trust me, if you are a database programmer and if you are working on a real time production environment, so it's always better you should have the sound knowledge of transaction handling. So why transaction handling is important? I am going to give you a scenario that will help you to understand. For example, I have a table. Uh, which is very important table let's say it's a core table of your business and for example uh, your supervisor or your boss says that please update some entry in this table so when you are going to update the entry in that table you need to be very cautious and you need to be very careful and he said use this id he has given you id and that id is unique for the table and you pass that id and that id is it written in the second line okay so by mistake, sometime, you know, sometime um, due to the other work pressure or sometime by mistake, uh, what happened, you know, we forget to select the condition and we remove the, we, we remove entire data rather than removing a specific data based on the condition or based on the value, we uh, remove entire data. And what, what will happen in that case? In that case, the things will change. The boss who came to you and said, Oh, I I need just update one record that will work for me. He will he will shout and he'll say what you have done. I said you clearly that you when you are going for an update, you need to use the ID. But why didn't follow that? So that will be a bad remark for you that you did a mistake. And that's not a mistake, that's a very serious mistake. So working on if you are working on a production environment, it means that you are a very serious person and you need to be very serious. When the question people ask why database people get uh, paid more the answer for this is very very simple because of risk so see inside update delete anyone can do but but you should be very cautious you should be very serious while dealing with the uh, real time data so let's come back to our situation by mistakenly it is happened and it is deleted okay deleted then what will you do you can't do anything actually because whatever the data you have deleted, it's deleted. Because you know, when we perform a delete operation, that data get logged into the transaction file and automatically if it is erased out, all the data get removed. So, so you can't recover that data. So for recovering data, then you need to find out the last backup which you have. Then you need to restore that database and from that database, you need to take the data. But there is still problem. The problem is that you will not have the latest data because the data which was being added after the last backup that data will not be uh, restored because it's nowhere right so that is a problem for you so you can't so that is lost means lost whatever happened happened right so the thing is that now now to avoid such situation what will you do see prevention is always better and you need to go for prevention as a database programmer. So what thing you will do? You will think that if I don't want to face such trouble, for example, I removed all data mistakenly. Still, I would have option that I could I could I could get back those data, right? That is the option. So in that case, what will you do? You will know that I can revert my data if some mistake has been happened through what? Through transaction. Transaction is something like it will place a save point, it will start one point and from that point whatever thing you will perform on a table, whatever the action you are going to do, all the things get logged into the transaction log file, no problem. But when you say, when you say I want to revert it back, or I want to roll back, then automatically whatever thing you have, de uh, you have done, you, whatever thing have been placed in a log will get reverted and you will get a data back that's the one solution so the solution for getting the data back is handled with care right okay let's jump into the demo so to do that let's say we need to use a transaction so how do you write a transaction statement so if you want to write a transaction statement you should write like this and the simple thing is that just write begin transaction or you can simply write begin trans begin run right this is another word shortcut so you can write begin transaction then if you want to if if everything went well then you simply say commit okay if there is some problem happen 
as I said in the uh, in the discussion. So simply say rollback. If you do a rollback on a table, the whatever operation you have done, whatever the delay, whatever the different kind of operation you have done, the everything it get rolled back and you will get the data, right? Okay, perfectly fine. Now I'm going to show you the two scenario. Let's do that. For example, I'm having a table. Let's say I have a table create table hash data and it has a column id which is int i am going to insert data into this table insert into hash data um, the value is select one select two or simply say select one and i want to load this data 100 times let's run it okay see if you if you will get error that's awesome you should always get error the error says invalid object name as data because we haven't created we missed to create it so just select this query just create the table and just run the script now you will see the 100 rows has been added let's do that let's see the query let's select star from stash data and see you will see there 100 rows as the output here right okay fine now uh, it doesn't have any id okay we'll do one thing we'll do one thing let's say yes sir number this is the column which is having in and i'm giving some identity to this so to generate a unique id for this okay now doing what now dropping this table drop table hash data Hash data fine. Create this table. Why we drop? Because we missed to have the column SR number. So here I'm specifying the column ID and running the loop for the hundred values. So hundred iterations would be there. And let's see the data. Now I would see there are two columns for my table. One column is called as SR number, another column is ID. ID is having the same value but SR number is a unique a value which I can use to identify the row. Now my manager came to me and he said to remove the data for the ID in SR underscore number is equal to 3. So how would I delete that? Just just before delete I'm just verifying the data select where where SR underscore number is equal to 3. Okay let's select the query. Now I can see, okay, this record is present. So my supervisor said just delete it. I will simply write here delete and what will I do? I will simply select the code and the and execute. But sometimes, you know, sometimes our code is very big and by mistake only we forget to uh, select the condition and let's see what will happen. Oh my God, hundreds of rows affected. By expected, I should delete only a single record. Now, if I'm coming back here, if I'm going to write a query, select star from this table, I'm going to see how many rows now. I'm going to see zero rows. Oh, this is really bad. What should I do now? You can't do anything right now. There are a few things, but they are recovery, but those are not working correctly. I tried a lot of time. Okay, this is the issue. To avoid such situation, to avoid such issue, what you need to do? We'll do one thing now. We are going to load again data. Let's say, okay, let's fresh, let's create fresh, drop the table, create the table, load the data. Three things happen. Now, verify the data. Select star from hash data. Now I can see only, sing, only one row. Okay. Now again, let's come back here and just run the loop. I will see now uh, 101 rows. Okay. Now my requirement is I want to remove the row having the ID SRE underscore name equal to three. So I'm starting a transaction. Begin class. Now I'm starting the transaction here and running the script. By mistake, I uh, did same mistake here as I am a smart developer. Now, 
I'm writing one statement here select star from uh, hash data hash data okay let's select it I can see how many rows zero rows okay what should I do I simply do one thing as I am a smart developer I will simply write rollback let's see what will happen coming back here running the same select statement again I would see 101 rows has been reverted back right so this is the situation and I always suggest everyone if you are going for an update same thing for example if I am going for update here and just doing update update is it id is equal to uh, 2 right and here i'm specifying so my requirement is in uh, where the sr underscore number is 3 just update the id as and for example by mistakenly i forgot to do the same thing right i forgot to use the condition so entire data would get updated and let's do that for example let's come here and let's run the script in transaction now see what will happen I'm again running the hash data table now see all the data which was having the ID has been changed to 2 but my expectation the where the sr underscore number is 3 that value needs to be changed to 2 rather than all so this is a mistake I did so simply I'll do what simply I'll do rollback and all my data would get real rollback and I'll see the initial state just come back here and just see the data right see everything has been reverted so this is a safe solution so i suggest everyone as a good advice when you are performing on a real time environment because you will get the downtime so so always go with the transaction just try to start the transaction and it should be fast actually just start the transaction you should have some dependency query to verify everything have been smooth or not if all smooth just do commit or just roll back now for example now i started transaction and i use the same query correctly fine now I feel just come back and just run the query. I see there only the data for the SR underscore three SR underscore name has been updated to two, which is correct data. So what will I do? I'll simply say commit, right? I'll simply say commit and just come back here and execute the commit statement. I'll come back here. Here I got the success message. I see here the everything has been changed. Oh no, right? Because I changed only for three and I committed. So this data is permanent to the table and I can see this data anytime now right I use the defensive logic with me because I am a smart developer I don't want to do mistake and trust me this is a mistake uh, which happen a lot of time for example I'm going to tell you one more important thing I am starting the transaction now and going to drop the table by mistake drop the table but on production please don't do like this this is for your understanding so transaction has been started table has been dropped right coming back here and running the script now let's see what we'll see we'll get error invalid object mm, so this is a problem right so what will i simply do i'll simply go to and rollback and i'll simply pass the command as a rollback and simply select this select star from hash data and we'll see now i would see this table ha table which was being dropped by me mistakenly which has been reverted back and now i see the data right this is a simple demonstration and simple use of the transaction but this simple thing will you save will save you a lot so always go with a transaction when you go for update or date delayed on real time production environment as a database developer it's very 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 important as a suggestion from a senior developer if you want to take it okay thanks for watching a video if you guys really like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend and thanks for watching if you guys really like our video please don't forget to share uh, comment or the comment section also that will helpful for us and thanks for watching have a great day